You've been discharged already? Yeah, um, I didn't even need to be warded, honestly. The doctors were just being too cautious. You're the chairman. And I should get back to work. You never had a sister with Down syndrome, did you? Why on earth would you make up a lie like that? Because you would never believe that I'd be nice to handsome without an agenda. Uh, I told you something that you're more likely to believe. Like the truth is, I like handsome and I want to help him with no ulterior motives. I'm not a monster. I never said you were a monster. Really? We were thinking it. Anyways, you're crazy. Why would you go and meet those punks alone? Handsome didn't want to call the police. And to be fair, I was under the impression that there was only going to be one punk. You know, the cheating type, not the beat you up type. Well, a smart man would have turned around and left. A couple of years ago, I would take him down. Easy. A couple of decades ago, you mean, old man? Those guys were half your age. Hey, I never back off. You even won't have doubts, OK? That's why I called you and told you where I was, remember? You were my insurance policy. Hey, look, I, I still might be lying in a ditch somewhere, if not for you. Oh, please. Only reason why you got hurt is because you tried to come to my rescue. I did not need to be rescued, by the way. Well, like I said, you're the one rescuing me. OK? <laughs> oh, I know. Maybe I should have your job title changed to... Oh, I know. Head of Regional Bodyguarding. How's that sound? Hmm? <laughs> come on, guard me. Hey, yeah, handsome. Ah. You got cheated. You got cheated. Don't think about it so much. Most important thing is you learned your lesson. Don't anyhow give your money to anybody, even if it's your friend. Want to buy things, ah, buy it yourself. If you still want to buy the computer game, we can buy it for you on your birthday. Money, Dad. Where have you been? I rushed there as soon as you called, ASAP. ASAP? You took your own sweet time sashaying over here. Well, I'm here. I want to talk about Julius. This couldn't be done over the phone. I don't like him. Well, neither do I. But it seems he can do no wrong. Plus, Mom's happy with him, so I guess there's nothing anyone can do about it. Wrong. There's plenty I can do about it. And the boy's a liar. What did he lie about? You'll find out soon enough. Just get him here, and I'll show you how to get rid of someone the right way. What? Never know your lesson, is it? Huh? Back for more? Oh, yeah. I've been told that I can be a, a little stubborn. <laughs> oh, Benji, that's real sloppy form. I saw that coming miles away. Hey, what are you waiting for? Get him! Hey. Listen to me carefully. Turn yourself to the police and tell them everything. Huh? Now, what do you think will happen if you don't? Ah! Okay, 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 okay. I promise. Nothing much. Just lazing around. Feeling kind of low energy today. Oh, I know of a power juice mix that will perk you right out. I send you over the details. Um, what about lunch? What are you eating? I don't feel like eating. You have to eat. And eat healthy. Uh, I send a recipe over, and you can get David to make it for you for lunch. Appreciate it, Diane. Send me a picture before you eat. I want to see how it turns out. OK. OK, I got to go. Call you later. Great. Bye. I get why he calls all the time. He's concerned about me. I mean, he's sending me a recipe for lunch. He wants me and Bibi to be healthy. But I wish he didn't tell me what to eat all the time. It's a bit annoying. Really annoying.
Are we having like a double dad bonding day? Or? Julius, let's talk. I'll wait outside. No, you need to be in here. Why so serious, guys? I'll get to the point. Your dear wife is a thief. What? I know it, and I know you know it too. Don't bother denying it. You gave yourself away yesterday when I brought up what May once said about Celia forgetting to pay for something at Lux. Wait, wait, wait. Mom's been stealing? I can't believe this. You leave it, Louis. What happened to you? Oh, well, I just got beaten up by a couple of young punks. I'm fine. A couple of young punks? That shouldn't have been a problem for you. You've taken on worse than that. Why did you let them beat you up? I have my reasons. Well, good thing Ananya got there in time to stop them. Ananya was there? Of course. Handsome, don't worry, everything's okay. They just need to take your statement. It is concerning Benjamin Ng, aka Eagle I007. Can you go on a catfish? Of course. Okay. We can meet at the park in about 10 minutes. Ken. Sorry to keep me waiting. It's not like she's doing it on purpose. She can't help herself. I know all about her condition. It started when we got divorced. Seriously? Do you have any idea how many times I had to plead on her behalf so the authorities wouldn't get called in? <laughs> how many times I had to save the family from embarrassment? Good thing I made sure she stopped all the nonsense before it became too late. Great, so... You know how we can help her? Because I haven't gotten to that part yet. So what did you do? Did she see a doctor or something? There's only one way, Julius. Tell me! I'll do anything! You have to leave her. Watch and learn, boy. Guys. I believe this is yours. Benjamin handed it to us when he turned himself in. Next time, be more careful, okay? Actually, is there any reason why you suddenly went onto the farm to look for your father? I mean, it's been so many years. Last time, when Pa came back, things were better. But they're okay now too, right? When Pa disappeared again, everything also went away. I failed my endeavors. Now I don't have a real job. So you hope by finding him, things will improve again? But instead, because of what I did, Charles got injured and I almost lost all my money and Eli's money. I know how you feel. When my mom passed away, it was really hard at first. It just wasn't fair. And then after a while, I realized I can still make her proud. And that's how I motivated myself to try to achieve my goals. I want to do the same thing. And focus on that. But I still have a question. Why did the police go after my pa? Because your pa was suspected of organ trading. He took advantage of people from poor countries by getting them to sell their organs. Handsome. I've been very honest with you. Okay, so maybe you should be honest with your family too. About what really happened with Benjamin. I'll tell you what made Celia finally stop all those years ago. Having a connection to me. What? Celia needs me. She's besides herself. Without me acting up in all kinds of funny ways. 
That doesn't make sense, though. You were in jail for years and she was fine. Wasn't she, Louis? Is that what Celia told you? The very fact that she married you is a red flag. Just like the shoplifting, the hair pulling. Your marriage is an act of self-harm. I suppose none of this would have even started if not for that one big incident. Wait. Hair pulling? You knew about that too? What don't I know? Why do you think she wears that wig all the time? Oh, let me guess. She would have told you it's her hair loss is hormonal. Can't you see, Julius? The reason she can't come clean with you is that she sees you as a boy. She needs a man. But we connect. You know, she, she tells me stuff. Unfortunately, you will never be the man she needs. So cut your losses. What are you trying to say? You care about her, don't you? You want her to get well? Of course. Then you know what you need to do. There is a saying, if you love somebody, you set them free. If you don't, I'll have her arrested myself. It's your choice. You're not out playing chaperone to Charles and that reporter today? Melina? She's done profiling him. I see. Was it a productive use of your time? <laughs> Initially, I thought it would be a complete waste of time. But over the past few days, I've seen a different side to Charles that I never knew existed. Really? And what side is that? I don't know. He just seems more... human. Interesting. So you personally experience his human side? Look, it's not what you think. Okay, don't get any funny ideas. So your mom is a kleptomaniac. Wow. That's not the only problem she has. What's that? Nothing. And so now Julius is packing up. Yeah. And when he left, he said to me, Well, bro son, I wish I could have been a better bro dad to you. Well, you got what you wanted. Out of your mom's life, out of yours. Huh? He ran off without telling you again? Hiya, now uh, we have customers coming in, in day and night. What do you expect me to do? Did Handsome run off again? Hey, not my fault, okay? Don't look at me. Where have you been? Handsome has something he wants to tell you. Uh, Matthew, is Handsome in trouble? Why are you doing funny things for Debbie again? What funny things? Hey, hey, it was just one... It's not Debbie's fault. Ma, Anna, sorry I lied to you. The money was not for Bali again. Then what? I went on a forum to find machine people. Then what? Somebody said that if you pay them money, they will help you to find your bar, is it? Yeah. Handsome, why won't you listen to us? Your bar is gone. Why can't you accept it? Say, uh, may you come all the way here. No trouble, really. I understand family matters can be complicated. 
See you. Actually, Benjamin only went to the police because of Charles. Charles Kwan? Yeah, he helped me to find Benjamin and got injured because of me. Handsome, why must you go to this type of people for help? Why didn't you ask me? I'm your older brother. Because nowadays you always call me. I just didn't want to make you angry again. I know I've been tough on you. Too tough. Okay, okay, I promise I'll tone down, but no more lies. Understand? Mm. You won't be okay? She'll be okay if you're okay. So right now we take care of the shop. When she comes back, we go and buy dinner. Okay? Okay. Well, your father seems to be in a particularly good mood today. Yep. Two possibilities. Either he's relishing the idea of someone's misfortune, or he's the one who screwed that poor someone over. Unfortunately, I think it's both. You know something? Did you know that Celia is a kleptomaniac? Of husbands, as well established. No, as in she steals stuff from shops that she doesn't even need or want. She actually has that condition. And she's never gotten caught? How very interesting. I don't know what's the matter with that boy. It's been so many years already. And he still can't stop thinking about Stephen. Well, my Matthew is the same. When his mind is stuck on something, he simply cannot let it go. <sighs> I told him so many times already. Stephen is not coming back. We have to move on with our lives. The day they started seeing themselves as adults, May one. That's the day they'll stop listening to us. When Matthew's mother passed away, I went through the same thing with him. Then how? No choice. Even if you don't like it, we have to let them find closure in their own ways. Anyway, Handsome has said that he's going to stop thinking about his father, right? I should have told him the truth from the start. When Stephen first disappeared, I was just trying to protect him. They are big already. There's only so much we can do to protect them. And honestly, our children are stronger than we think. I haven't seen Handsome cry for so many years. It's not a crybaby like me. Everything also cry. Don't forget how far you've come. You're stronger than you think. Where do you think you're going? How did you get in? Of course, I have keys to my mom's house. Now step away from the back and we can talk. There's nothing to talk about. I need to do what I need to do. According to whom? Derek said to me, if you love somebody, set them free. That's what I'm doing. So you think it's the heroic thing to do? As Derek says, that's the only way Celia can get better. Derek knows her so well. Derek, Derek, Derek. Julius, wake up. Can't you see that dad's manipulating you? Think about it. Look. I hate to say this, but with you, mom's been the happiest in years. So I can't let dad do this. You can't go. Please, don't go. You're begging me to stay? <laughs> this is not about you. It's, no. it's about not letting dad win. I don't care. <laughs> Hearing that means so much to me, bro. Oh, look at the two of you. It's not what you think, Mom. We're one big happy family now. Are we, Mom? Yeah, of course. Ma, I got a for you. Thank you. I'm sorry about lying about Pa. It's OK, it's over. Oh. Come on, let's eat. Is Ella here yet? She's coming. Yeah, I told her to come. I'm here. Ah, our princess is here. Ayla, 
Sorry about the money. I sold it after you. It's okay. Just know that anytime you need help, you can come to me, okay? But I already promised call out of parking first. Mm. That's fine. But handsome, you need to know that Hawk doesn't know many things. Who says? I'm older. I know more things, okay? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Do you even have your PSLE? Definitely. Plus, street smart. Years of experience running my own business. So, where's your PSLE cert? Uh, a cert not important. Yeah, thank you. Are you going somewhere, sweetheart? Or are you both going? No, no, no. Then why are you all packed to go? Uh, I was going to. He was going to leave, Mum. But only because Dad manipulated him into doing so. Poor thing. What did he say to you that could possibly make you want to leave? He told me you were a kleptomarina. Maniac. Kleptomaniac. How dare he? Celia, don't. Where's the original necklace I got from my mother? How did you get the replacement? Dad wanted to pin the blame on him for you being a kleptomaniac, forcing him to leave. But I wasn't going to because Louis wanted me to stay. You both must think I'm so stupid to do such silly things at my age. Not at all. We're going to help you get through this. Right, Marissa? Save me from myself. It kind of hurts, but I will smile somehow. And save me. Come, Zara. Huh? Time to wake up. Razali said not to let you sleep the whole day. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Get on with your day first and then sleep earlier tonight. Huh? If you sleep until lunchtime, you'll be living in a different time zone. Come. <sighs> well, just, just 10 minutes, okay? No, you're already awake. Come, Zara. Wash up and come down for breakfast. You think you don't need to eat, but your baby does. Come on, Zara. Come. Zara.